Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. Family and friends are expressing sadness and relief at today's discovery of the bodies of balloonists Richard Abruzzo and Carol Reimer Davis. News 13's David Romero is live in the Newsplex with more on this. David? Mike, the recovery of Abruzzo and Davis ends two months of not knowing what happened. Now, questions of how begin. The bodies of Abruzzo and Davis were found still in the gondola of their balloon in the Adriatic Sea near the port of Viesta in southern Italy. The wreckage was pulled up by an Italian fisherman before dawn this morning. The gondola basket was relatively intact along with pieces of the balloon itself. Reports say the bodies were fairly well preserved because of the equipment they were wearing. Investigators will now look into what caused the balloon to crash while competing in the Gordon Bennett gas balloon race in late September. Race officials estimate from the transponder equipment that the balloon went down at about 50 miles per hour. Crews searched for a week after the, after the balloon disappeared. In New Mexico, Abruzzo and Davis are being remembered fondly. I can't imagine that uh, after all these months that they've finally found something, and it, was a, and it was a great relief at the same time. Now, the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta released a statement saying the thoughts and prayers of everyone in the Balloon Fiesta family are with Abruzzo and Davis's families. The family of Carol Reimer Davis thanked the Italian authorities for recovering Richard and Carol. They're also thankful for the outpouring of support. Now, Abruzzo leaves behind a wife, son, and daughter, and Davis leaves behind a husband and two daughters. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, thank you very much. Abruzzo's wife, Nancy, and his brother, Louis, are on their way to Italy to bring Richard's body home. And be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 and KRQE.com throughout the day as we learn more about the discovery of balloonist Abruzzo and...